All right, guys, welcome back to the Pacific Tropical Weather Update for 5 o'clock p.m. EDT, 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Mountain, and all that stuff. Anyway, so we have a tropical storm in the Pacific. Tropical storm. Enrique, I'm hoping I said that right. This name is weird. Anyway, it's expected to become a hurricane tomorrow. This will be the first hurricane of 2021, excluding the ones in the other hemisphere. Northern, I don't know anymore. My brain's all... My brain is messed up due to summer vacation right now. <laughs> Anyways, so it's expected to become a hurricane tomorrow. Tropical storm warnings issued for the southwest coast of Mexico. Summary, the summary as of 4 p.m. CDT, 2100 UTC information. Its location is 15.9... North, 103.3 West. It's about 225 miles, 360 kilometers, south-southeast of Manzillo, Mexico, and about 350 miles, 560 kilometers, south-southeast of Cabo Corrientes, Mexico. Its maximum sustained winds are at 50 miles per hour, or 85 kilometers per hour. Its present movement is west-northwest, or 290 degrees at 8 miles per hour, or 13 kilometers per hour. And its minimum central pressure is 1,002 millibars, or 29.59 inches. Watches and warnings. Changes with this advisory. The government of Mexico has issued a tropical storm warning from Zotanu northwestward to Cabo Corrientes. In addition, a tropical storm watch has been issued from Cabo Corrientes northward to San Blas. Summary of watches and warnings in effect. Tropical storm warning is in effect for soon. I'm not even trying to try. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. To Cabo Corrientes. Tropical Storm Watch is in effect for Cabo Corrientes to send laws. A tropical storm warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area. And tropical storm watch means that tropical storm conditions are possible within the watch area generally within 40 hours. For storm information specific to your area, please monitor progress products issued by your National Meteorological Service. And the discussion and outlook. This is where it gets good. At 4 p.m. CDT, 1200 UTC, 2100 UTC. <clears throat> the center of tropical storm in was located near latitude 15.9 north, longitude 103.3 west. Unique was moving towards the west northwest near 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers per hour. The storm is forecast to gradually slow down with a turn toward the northwest, expected to occur by Sunday. On the forecast track to the core of Unique is expected to remain offshore roughly parallel to the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next few days. Maximum sustained winds are near 50 miles per hour, 85 kilometers per hour, with higher gusts. Strengthening is forecast in Enrique is likely to become a hurricane not tomorrow. Tropical storm force winds extend up outward up to 140 miles 220 kilometers from the center estimated, estimated minimum central pressure is 
1,002 millibars or 29.59 inches. Hazards affecting land. Key messages for charcoal storm in Rickway can be found in the charcoal cyclone discussion under AWIPS header MIATCDEP5 WMO header WTPZ45 KNHC and on the web at www.hurricanes.gov slash graphics underscore ep5 dot what is that dot shtml question mark key underscore messages when tropical storm conditions are likely occurring in eastern portions of the warning area these winds are expected to spread westward within the warning area tonight and through the weekend tropical storm conditions are possible in the watch area on sunday <clears throat> rainfall the outer bands of Iniqua are likely to cause locally heavy rains over portions of southwestern mexico which could lead which could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides Surf. Swells generated by Nikwe will affect the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next few days. These swells are likely to cause life threatening surf and rip current conditions. Please consult products from your local weather office. Next advisory. The next intermediate advisory is at 7 p.m. CDT or in three hours from now. The next complete advisory is at 10 p.m. CDT or 6 hours from now. So, if we go back to the main thing, there's Inikwe right there. I don't have the tool as I do on Radar Omega, but... So... The blue right there, right, I'm trying to get as close as possible for you guys. Anyway, the blue extends by a good 100 or, or so miles of the coast. And then the watch is just for that bay area. I'm assuming... By either the next advisory, the war tropical storm warning will be changed to a hurricane warning, and then the watch will be changed to a hurricane watch. Luckily, though, as of right now, it does not look like it's going to become a major hurricane, which is cat three, a category three, category four, or category five. That would be marked with a black M. So, if we go to Tropical Tidbits, another, ra another like, radar I used for tracking these systems. It has a good low-level circulation, something it didn't have yesterday. So, if it can get itself... Like, combined and all together, I think we may have a pretty powerful hurricane forming. Let's look at... There's another image of the cone there. Let's look at this. Models. Most of the models keep at Category 1 strength. The... If I can find which one this is. The D ship... Has it reaching category two, as does the COTI and the HWFI. None of them have it making it to cat three, which is good. We don't want that. <clears throat> and then game models, just thing it off to see. 
the one model that does it, one model does have it taking a turn up to the north, going into this bay area. I'm not, I think that's the Bay of Campeche. I could be wrong though. And then forecast models, let's go over here. Hurricane, let's look at the HWRF model for an inquiry first. Let's make sure it's all loaded in. It'll get loaded in as we go on. But as you guys can see right now, it's a 1,003 mil bar system. Oh my gosh, come on. Now that doesn't look as defined, but as it gets closer and closer, that's a pretty well-defined circulation right there. Right there, that's a 968 millibar hurricane. That's, that's an impressive hurricane right there. And that is 69 hours out on June 28th. So... In three days from now, that could be near just off the coast of Mexico. And as it moves on, it maintains hurricane strength all the way up until the last run of this model. So now let me refresh that and let's go to the HWRFP model run. So it strengthens as it gets closer to the shore, and this actually has it at 966 millibars. And then it has it moving slowly, another low pressure down to its southeast, but it doesn't show that storm developing into anything. Maybe a low level spin, but that's it. That, if anyone's wondering, that's that's right now. It doesn't have that world fine spin to it, but maybe like eighteen hours out. That's when it really could start. Let's look at the H1 model for this storm now. This is right now. Mod run zero. Hour zero. And this model also has it. That could be a major hurricane right there. So, two models have it potentially being a major hurricane. 968 millibars right there. And then as it gets closer, it dissipates before making landfall. That's the first landfall I've seen on any of the models. But that, it could be a Cat 1 hurricane, Category 1 by the time it makes landfall. Let's look at the GFS model run now. Expecting more of the same from it forming into a hurricane. Is the model run out yet? You know what? We're going to go up to negative six model run. Six hours ago is when this current one was issued. The current picture you're seeing. So that's right, that's 12 hours out from right now. And the GFS. The GFS model has it becoming a short-lived hurricane and then fizzling out and then airing the United States as a remnant low. Well. 
if the GFS is accurate, I'm just saying there's going to be when at least tropical force, tropical storm force winds in Mexico, maybe hurricane force gusts, but probably nothing too severe. Now, finally, let's look at the CMC model run for Inequa. Once again, I'm sorry I'm, if I'm saying the name wrong. So when is this? This is 12 hours ago. And this has it coming at least somewhere of a hurricane in two days. Maybe sooner than that, actually. Maybe 30 to 24 hours out. Saying the CMC model has it becoming at least somewhat of a hurricane. Then it goes up. This one, this one and the GFS aren't showing a lot. Maybe a landfall right in there along that portion of the coastline there, but and then just says GFS m moving into the Pacific, not Pacific, into the United States. So I got satellite imagery quickly. This. Thing. Let's take a look at this and then plot type. Let's, let's get it from the long wave infrared satellite. Big burst of convection there. On that one, let's look at the long wave infrared divark. Big bursts of convection there, but visible high res. You let it load up. On the high res, you could sort of see an eye like structure per minute. Either way, this thing is going to be a, a threat to the coastline of Mexico. So. If you're planning on traveling down there, I highly recommend that you guys watch this system carefully as it moves up closer and closer to the coast. Anyways, guys, that will be it for the tropical weather update for today. For the 5 o'clock advisory, I will be back in probably about two hours, actually, with the... 7 p.m. CDT update. Thanks, guys, and please like and subscribe to stay up to date with everything tropical weather and severe weather related. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all later.